Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Story. And before we go into the video, I have an amazing announcement. I've started an animation channel, 405 Not Found. Yes, you heard it right. I know you guys are excited as me hearing this. And for all the Draw My Story fans out there, please go and check this out. The link's in the description below. And thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support you've been giving me. I can't be more happier. And I'd be thrilled if you guys also like and subscribe to my second channel as well. Love you all. And here's the shout out to those amazing fans of Draw My Story who've sent in their fan arts. They're beautiful. Thank you guys for sending. If you also want your arts to be featured in my video, then please follow the instructions of how to send in your fan art. It's in the video description below. Love you guys. And today, we're drawing the story of another mysterious giant. There are many misty guests who come down to Earth. One among them is Dread Roach. The Dread Roach is a dreadfully large cockroach-like creature. It's always seen moving towards the victims or the person who clicks the picture. Its whole body is grayish-black in color. It has a large oval-shaped body with numerous insect-like legs surrounding all sides of the body. These bug-like legs are large and sharp at the end. There are at least four joints in each of the legs. Like a giant cockroach, the body is massive and it widens toward the center. It's assumed that the dread roach has a streamlined lower end. However, we've never seen the end of the creature yet. The dread roach is spotted in between the mountains. It will emerge like another mountain and keep on rising up with its scary legs spreading in all directions. The whole body is lumpy and large, which makes it understandable that the body has soft flesh tissue. The flesh inside is covered with a hard shell-like structure. There is a neck and a head. The head has two large eyes bulging out. The height of the creature is around 83 feet or 25 meters. All these physical description details are mostly assumed or vaguely proposed as per whatever details are available from the unclear pictures. In all the photos, a silhouette is visible which does not give out much details as such. The Dread Roach comes under the Giant family, so that means it was summoned by the Moon Worshippers. Once in five years, there's a portal that's opened on the full moon day. Through this portal, many giants have ascended to Earth. This portal is opened because the Moon Worshippers do their prayers every year. Every fifth year, a giant gets to come through the portal because they have a purpose on Earth. The giants who reach the Earth has to get humans from Earth and take them to the other side. Those who reach the other side is supposedly attaining the heavens by which they get salvation. However, there is a completely opposite theory regarding the same process. It's said that the giants are not here to save people, but to punish them. They're here to find the sinful who's not using their human lives properly. Those people will be found and collected by the giants. Then they'll be taken to the other side, where they'll be punished forever. There is no death to those who are taken. They'll be in scorching pain until infinity. This is scarier than death. The Dread Roach is also assigned with the same responsibility. It will arise on cloudy winter days when the weather is cold and windy. The Dread Roach will arise in between the mountains with its spiky legs. The legs will be moving around all the time, making it a creepy visual one can never forget. The interesting fact is that Dread Roach appears in front of only those who are about to be attacked. Others can't see it. The photos which are taken of this creature are taken by photographers 
who didn't see the creature. They just clicked at places where the victims were looking. They clicked looking at where the victims look. Once the dread roach spots a victim, it will look at the victim and hypnotize the victim. The victim can only scream and get scared in front of the monster. They won't be able to move or run. They won't be able to save themselves from the mishap which is about to happen to them. In one pierce itself, the human will die with lots of blood loss and deep injury. The body is then lifted up with the same leg and taken to the mouth of the creature, and the victim gets eaten up. This is unlike any other giants in the giant family. No other giant is as aggressive as this one. The dread roach is the most aggressive and hence the most dangerous among all the giants. So it's assumed that the dread roach actually has a requirement to eat humans to sustain their life. This is also a difference from other giants. No other giants have a need to eat and survive. They're mystical beings. They don't need to have food. However, Dread Roach seems different. It has a physical realm as well as a mystical realm. The physical form and existence is as important as the other part. This might be the reason why the monster eats up the victims. Its existence is dependent on how much food it can get from the humans. Also, it's observed that the monster does not harm any other organism or does not eat plants. It can only eat humans. This monster is undeniably very large and strong. There's no way humans can fight this giant. However, the unconventional shape of the creature and its large size with small insect legs makes it difficult for the monster to move fast. In fact, it can only move very slowly. The giant is very much under the threat of other giants or any other monsters. If at all there is a fight between the dread roach and any other monster, there is no doubt that the dread roach will be lacking behind because of its size and shape. Many researchers strongly believe that the dread roach must have a pair of wings like a cockroach. There is no evidence for this fact. However, there are high chances for the giant to have wings. If that is the case, the creature can fly and compensate its lack of speed. The dread roach is one unique giant we have ever seen. It is bound by the physical ties of earth life and as connection with the heavenly creatures. This is such a deadly combo. This means that the giant is more harmful and will do anything to survive on earth. That is why the dread roach is the most dangerous and harmful giant for humankind. And that was today's story about dread roach. Comment and let me know how would you like it. And please subscribe to my channel guys if you want to see more draw my story horror videos like this one. Till then, bye.